guys and welcome back to I'm Beautiful Hustle TV. Today I'll be doing a lace wig install with cut layers in the front. And today's hair is provided by Julia Hair. They sent over this beautiful um, 22 inch highlighted blonde and brown wig. And this wig is so, so pretty. I love working with wigs this color because you do not have to custom highlight it yourself. It already comes custom highlighted. And this wig was actually super, super soft. And it looked even longer than what it said it was. Like, it said it's a 22, but it looks like a 26-inch wig. So, um, it's definitely more than your money's worth. And today, I'll be installing this wig and doing a style I have not done on my channel yet, which is like the middle part with some cut layers in the front. Now, this has become a popular look um, due to Eric and Tay. Um, he has been doing, like, these throwback uh, looks and you know everybody is just hopping on that trend so because it is a really pretty uh, a really pretty a really pretty <laughs> style I definitely wanted to show you guys how I achieve it so first things first you know I went ahead and did my ball cap method applied the foundation cleaned the, um, her hairline with uh, the lace prep and now I'm just going to go ahead and go on to my layers of lace and adhesive and for her install I did do um, four layers of that glue but once I get all of the layers of that glue on I will go ahead and begin to lay her wig down and do the melting process so now I'm gonna go ahead and begin to lay her lace down into that glue and you just want to pull it on each side right into that glue and once you get it where it needs to be have them hold the side down and you can go ahead and tack down the other side as well and then begin to blow dry the lace on the heat setting and with the heat setting that helps melt the lace right on in so that's why I like to use heat I used to use cool but I just find it so much like it feels like it works better on heat so that's why I no longer use the cool air for this step but once I get everything all um melted in and heated on in I will go ahead and begin to cut the flaps the extra lace from around the ears and then I will um, begin to raise off the extra lace And now I'm going to go ahead and raise off the extra lace and tap down wherever else um, may still be lifting after cutting off the lace. So now that all of that is tacked down, I'm going to go ahead and um, comb all of that lace back after applying um, the Tresemme Holding Spray and I'm going to go ahead and tie her hairline down with the Alexa Band. And you do 
do want that elastic band to sit until the holding spray is dry and melted into the lace and once you do that you can go ahead and remove it and I'm just going to quickly comb comb out the hairline so it is nice and soft but I went ahead again I mean also and flat iron the wig out while it was going through that whole um, melting process with the melt belt so now I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my center part and using my glam wax stick and just applying that all around to make sure that, um, you know, just making sure that I can hot comb everything silky, flat, and smooth. And once I get all of that done, I will go ahead and conceal the part and begin the cutting of the lace. Now you guys know usually when I style I like to work with one side at a time so now that I have everything hot combed out on that side I'm going to go ahead and pull down a section for my baby hair and just want to pull out nice little thin sections because the bruise is brown it's very very light but I'm still going to give her some baby hair for this look so I just pulled out a sideburn piece, a little piece in the middle and one right at the top and I'm going to go ahead and um, cut that baby hair and swoop it right on down. So now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same steps to the other side as well. I have the baby hairs over here slayed and now I'm going to do the other side.
And not because the roots are super, super brown, you can't really see the part, so that's why I'm gonna go in with the concealer, and I'm going to use a slightly lighter shade so that part could really stand out, and you see that really makes a big difference when you conceal that part. But now I'm gonna go ahead and begin to cut my layers. Like what I like to do is just go in with razor comb or scissors, but today I just chose the scissors, and I just like to start cutting down in a diagonal angle, and I just like to like jacket the scissors all the way down. Um, until I get the desired amount of cut, I mean the desired amount cut off that I want to be cut to give me that really um, curved look once I go ahead and bump it. So I'm just going to do the same thing to both sides until I'm satisfied. And even after bumping it, I did go back in some more and just really make those layers more noticeable. So just go down and diagonal with scissors or you can use a razor comb and just give, you know, trim that hair off in a diagonal. I'm just going to take my large flat iron, um, this is by Remington, and just bump that um, everything that I cut because, you know, I really need those layers to be visible after bumping. And I do give it a nice little bump underneath so it can really curve into the face. And as I mentioned, I will go back in and cut some more until I'm just, um, I am satisfied with the, you know, like the look of the layer. Now I'm just gonna go on some more and clean it up, but that will pretty much sum up this installation video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will drop the finishing results at the end once you stand up so you can really see the slate. So thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next installation video. Till next time.